I was really not expecting this because Marvel just posted a one minute short teaser of Deadpool and Wolverine and it has some really cool references and some really cool jokes throughout the teaser. We're going to break it down. Let's start off with the first scene. We obviously know that Wade Wilson actually works now and therefore this family over here is actually dropping him and we can see that he is really not happy. He is really not satisfied with his life at this point in time. But just keep in mind all of these four faces apart from Ryan and Reynolds' face because this family will definitely be back in the teaser going forward. So we have seen this picture and we know that there's going to be a conversation held at this place and yet Deadpool actually tells Wolverine that back in the day when he was just a civilian, he used to wear a toupee and all those things. But then Wolverine cracks a joke. There's going to be a lot of jokes similar to this and there is going to be a lot of disarguments, arguments and it will lead to a lot of fun moments, a lot of comic moments just like in this scene. That's Wolverine. It damn straight it is. Disney brought him back. They're gonna make him do this till he's 90. But after the joke, we get the most important thing and the most debatable thing of the entire teaser and that is Lady Deadpool. So in the trailer earlier, we just got this much amount of Lady Deadpool. But then in this teaser, we also got the upper body of Lady Deadpool. I mean, it sounds weird. But again, they did not show the face of Lady Deadpool. And with that hair, with that blonde hair, we still don't know that is it going to be Blake Lively? who is the wife of Ryan Reynolds, is she going to play the role Lady Deadpool or is it going to be Taylor Swift? I mean, these two names are just making rounds on the internet since we knew that Lady Deadpool is going to be a part of Deadpool and Wolverine and still we don't know who it is. Is it going to be Blake Lively or is it going to be Taylor Swift? Please tell me in the comments what do you guys think? But just after that, there's again a very interesting picture and this is of this one because here we got a lot of Deadpool variants and this is the cowboy Deadpool. But here we can literally see one, two, three, four and five five different variants of Deadpool and by the way we actually had some rumors that there are going to be more than five variants of Deadpool in the movie Deadpool and Wolverine and around three variants of Wolverine in the Deadpool and Wolverine movie so yeah that might come out to be true and let me tell you none of these five variants are actually Lady Deadpool or our main Deadpool played by Ryan Reynolds you ask me why okay focus on this picture our main Deadpool has this brown thingy over here but none of these Deadpools have that brown thing you can see none of them Apart from this one, we can't actually see this one. And if I talk about Lady Deadpool, Lady Deadpool has a gun, which is silver in color, and her leg also has these three different stripes. And again, none of these have that. Then we have Dogpool, and Dogpool is going to be really fun to watch. And again, they have a disagreement here, which actually turns into a comedic moment. And we are definitely going to have a lot of these in the movie. Now, this is the surprise birthday party scene that we definitely will have at the start of the movie. And I can with almost certainly say that all of these friends of Deadpool like Dupinder, Negasonic, Teenage Warhead, Peter, Vanessa as well. All of these people will majorly have this only one big scene in which they'll all be together. And this will definitely take place at the start of the movie where they're showing us just the normal life of Wade Wilson. Now, before talking about this scene, we actually need to talk about this scene because in this scene, we saw that Dogpool was actually taken by Deadpool and they actually took him wherever they went. And now in this scene, we can definitely say that they have come back to their home universe, but after a gruesome fight because Deadpool's head is actually covered in blood and Wolverine also doesn't look quite good and this is again pretty interesting because you can definitely say that Deadpool actually is mimicking Spider-Man. So this is definitely a reference to Spider-Man but who knows we might even see a Spider-Man or at least a poster of Spider-Man or maybe another reference to Spider-Man. I don't know I'm just a Spider-Man fan. But details like this actually makes Deadpool a very very cool character in the MCU because he really have the liberty to to crack real life jokes and we also get an example of this later in this trailer. Now this is the main villain of a movie Cassandra Nova and now the way these two scenes were actually edited was very nice because here we think that whatever Cassandra Nova did here that actually results Deadpool and Wolverine to actually you know push back but these two scenes are not at all connected because the backgrounds are different. Now we are in the TVA and we definitely know that Paradox has a mission for Deadpool and Deadpool must have cracked a joke therefore Paradox is just laughing out loud. Now here this picture is clearly evident that this entity behind is definitely a lath and they have made a portal inside a lath and it looks like it's its mouth and again this scene was attached to this scene and it again makes you feel like after jumping into the portal they landed year that might be the case as well but at least the way they are showing it it looks like that and remember i told you to keep in mind these four faces apart from ryan reynolds because this kid is again in the same car so definitely wade wilson actually knows this kid and knows this family and this looks to be like peter right and then this joke Wolverine. It damn straight it is. Disney brought him back. They're gonna make him do this till he's 90. I'm 100% sure that there are going to be a lot of other real life jokes like this. But is this any indication that 
you jackman will play wolverine for some more movies in the mcu i hope so and i think he will as well but that's the conversation for another video but yeah if this joke is any indication of how real life jokes will be played out in this movie we are really going to have a hell of a time now we just end with another hair related conversation of deadpool i mean conversation around his toupee but as i said all of these characters who appeared in previous deadpool movies will probably have this only one gigantic scene in which all of them will be present and after that when wade wilson is actually brought into the tva after that i don't think that we'll see them again in the movie yeah i highly recommend you to check out this video because in this video i've talked about all the concepts that you need to know before watching deadpool and wolverine so yeah definitely check that video out and as all and if you're a stranger things fan do not miss this video and as always thank you so much for watching